Manifesting is the number one word on the lips of many women, both online and in real life. Although we live in the age of information, so many people are transfixed by the idea that you can create your dream life simply with your thoughts. But the truth is, men have also been practicing this so-called manifesting for centuries. In this video, I'm going to get into the heart of what manifesting really is, if there's any validity to it at all, and if so, how you could use it to achieve your goals. As gentlemen, I think we should always have ambitions and aspirations that we're working toward, and we should consider any tools that might help us along the way. So this video will be a balanced look at the idea of manifesting and the law of attraction, with some constructive criticisms of the concept, but also suggestions for how you could use it in a way that would actually be beneficial. So let's start by taking a deeper dive and truly understand what manifesting is. Manifesting is the idea that you can create your dream life simply by imagining it and focusing your mental energy on positive things. This gained incredible popularity with the release of the 2006 book, The Secret. In The Secret, author Rhonda Byrne claims to have discovered the key to success that has been used for centuries. She calls it the law of attraction. This is a pseudo-scientific law that states this, positive or negative thoughts will directly bring corresponding events into your life. To call it an oversimplification would be an understatement, but I'll get more into the critiques later. The law of attraction has remained popular ever since and found a home on female-oriented social media accounts. I actually believe it's been fueled by the social media culture. Influencers who have this lavish lifestyle like to claim that they simply manifested it all into existence. The idea with manifestation is as simple as this. If you can think it, you can have it. And your thoughts and feelings are the only necessary steps to yield concrete results. If you are a rational man, I'm sure you can see that relying on these ideas would surely leave you disappointed in life. As Mark Manson, author of this subtle art of not giving a fuck said, Anybody who reads The Secret and implements its advice will likely make themselves worse off in the long run. The Law of Attraction states that there is a direct link between your thoughts and your reality. This might make you feel good in the short term, you might feel like your goals are within easy grasp, but the Law of Attraction is missing the most vital step, and that is action. Action is the only non-negotiable. There's no amount of wishing, visualization, or journaling that can replace action. To illustrate this, let's look at two imaginary people who have the same goals, and one of them relies on the law of attraction, and the other one relies solely on action. So let's say these two people both want to be concert pianists. The first pianist practices 15 hours a day, is regularly collaborating with other musicians, trying to put themselves out there, do whatever gigs they can, posting on social media, but at the same time, they never really think about success or popularity. On the other hand, the other pianist sits in their mom's basement all day, dreaming about being a huge success, but they never practice to go beyond the point of mediocrity, and they never put themselves out there to discover new opportunities. So which of these two do you think is more likely to actually become a successful pianist? There's another part to the manifesting equation that doesn't quite add up, and I actually think this works differently for men and women. A lot of people's desires that they try and manifest are very material or financial based, and for women, it, it's possible to attract a man into your life who can bring you those things. For men, we have to go and get them ourselves. And if we're going to go and get this stuff for ourselves, then we need a different manual. Now, a gentleman must be aware of the powers of his subconscious mind. What's more, positive thinking is vital for overcoming obstacles and challenges. It's hard to achieve a goal unless you genuinely believe that it's possible. But positive thoughts and dreams will never be enough on their own. While manifesting and visualizing can give you this rocket of desire, that rocket does not need to go out into the universe, it needs to go up your own backside. If you've never read The Secret, I recommend you do because once you read it, you'll know everybody else who's read it from the language that they parrot. 
But a much better alternative to this book for any ambitious gentleman is Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. As the name would suggest, there is a big emphasis on thought patterns and training your subconscious mind, but the author also illustrates the importance of hard work, using your imagination as fuel for that labour. Unlike The Secret, it has dedicated chapters to organised planning and decision making. So really, it's this combination of inspiration and action that actually leads to positive outcomes. I don't want you to think this is me dismissing the importance of visualization and fantasy. When we visualize or write down our goals, it gives us this bird's eye perspective. I've spoken before about Solomon's paradox and I highly encourage you to look it up if you're not familiar with the term, but the crux of it is this. It's easier for us to advise others than ourselves and it's easier for us to clearly see the problems of others than our own. But I'm a believer that journaling and visualization can help you gain that perspective. History points to examples of great men who have used the powers of visualization and positive thinking to achieve their goals. Andrew Carnegie, who led the expansion of the US steel industry and became one of the richest men in history, said this on the subject. I am no longer cursed by poverty because I took possession of my own mind and that mind has yielded me every material thing I want and much more than I need. But this power of mind is a universal one available to the humblest person as it is to the greatest. What Carnegie does not explicitly state in this quote is the work ethic he used to rise out of poverty. For example, his grueling 12 hour days working as a bobbin boy in a cotton mill before he became a success. Jim Carrey has spoken a lot about how he used visualization as a tool during his time as a struggling actor. He used to drive up to Mulholland Drive, look over Los Angeles, and visualize being a successful part of Hollywood. He even wrote himself a $10 million check, which is quite similar to one of the suggestions in Think and Grow Rich. But it's also important to note the action that Carey was taking at this time. He was performing relentlessly as a stand-up comedian and taking minor roles in movies as he tiptoed his way to success. Perhaps a more subtle example of manifestation would be Cary Grant. He transformed his life from an impoverished upbringing in England to become one of Hollywood's most distinctive leading men. Cary was quite transparent about the nature of his self-transformation. He said, I pretended to be somebody I wanted to be until finally I became that person. Or he became me. So, manifesting can be a very powerful tool, but remember, you still have to work just as hard to get what you want. I personally use visualization as a way to keep focused on my goals, even when they seem very out of reach. However, I've never visualized a certain number, like money in my bank account or a certain number of subscribers. Instead, it's just a feeling and a lifestyle that I'm aiming toward. As for the numbers, I think that's where logic belongs. I set clear, focused goals with regular steps to help me achieve them. Gentlemen, I want to hear from you in the comments. Are you familiar with the law of attraction and what's your opinion on it? Is it total baloney or have you found a useful application for this principle in your life? Now, before you go, I want to tell you about an upcoming event that I have here in the city of Chicago. I am hosting my first ever in-person meetup event for all of the gentlemen who enjoy this channel and the lifestyle that I promote here. I need anyone who would like to attend to register their interest using the link below. This can help me plan accordingly and I'll be in touch with the date and venue as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, don't forget to register and I will see you in the next one.